Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Father, you are seated on the throne. 
once again we cry that you will truly take us higher cause us to rise to strange dimensions in the spirit and let the proof be evident oh God that we have stepped higher in the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated if you can and then be sensitive. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Especially for those of us who came from far, you didn't come to waste your time. You see, let me tell you something about a call and a ministry. Listen, listen. See, when God calls a man, the anointing is not the only thing that is given. You have to understand this. Every ministry has many standard spiritual features. When God calls a man, please listen. There is an anointing that is upon that man by reason of his knowledge and his personal press into the things of God there is the anointing that is on the office that that man occupies spiritually there is the anointing that is on that man by reason of discerning and being part of the current move of God. they are not the same are we together and then there is the anointing that comes by reason of the dimensions that God wants to take people into based on the truths that are revealed and then at certain levels depending on the call and what office there are covenants please listen that means a vow that God made with that man that as far as it relates to this assignment i have bound myself to do certain things that has nothing to do with even the vessel you see that then there are angelic manifestations listen now there are angels that work with believers There are angelic presence please listen as a believer he said his angels she shall put his angels charge over you there are angelic presence that work with believers but there are angels that don't follow a man they follow anointings they don't need to know who that individual is it's an office the same way they give you an office and there are cars there are pas they don't have to know you it is part of the equipping of the kingdom you see that it's very important and then there are also angelic presence that signify revelations it is not only the anointing that gives revelation the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto john his servant he said he sent it and signified it by his angel hallelujah so when you're in a meeting like this and you see things like this happen it's an interplay of many things it's not just a generic move of an anointing from an anointed man there are things happening that have nothing to do with the vessel himself there are things that are as a result of the, the health of the secret place of the vessel. There are certain things that are based on the office that is being played. I, I just wanted you to learn and to know this. 
because many times believers just wonder look let me tell you this let me tell you this you see these things god is blessing it's not just that god is proving that a man is anointed some of these people fall in many things are happening at the same time there are deliverances there are impartations there are the, the opening spiritual vistas is like a veil just being open to move men into dimensions this is how people grow this is how people grow it is not my desire to carry some of these graces and these possibilities and just have people watch it <clears throat> when God sends a word to Jacob it is because of Israel that you will also be able to carry these dimensions you see transformation is difficult when there is no reference so God finds a man that represents a possibility and then your spirit and your mind is able to comprehend that dimension as true and possible then you can release your faith and step into it koinonia we call it is it all right if you pray for one minute and just ask the lord say lord all the graces all the revelations pastor alpha let us know you don't have to stand just pray please pray with desperation and hunger hallelujah praise the lord please be seated revelations 4 tonight will be a mighty time it will be brief so that we'll pray we pray for grace we pray for strength revelations chapter 4 this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be thereafter come up hither and i will show thee things which must not may be certainty things which must be thereafter jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 jeremiah 33 and verse 3 how can i see by myself unless you take over i'll never know it on my own unless you take over take over Jesus, take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. How can I see by myself unless you take over? I will not hear it on my own unless you take over. Take over, take over, take over, take over. You cannot learn it on your own unless it takes over. You'll never see by yourself unless it takes over listen 
there are dimensions you can never see by willpower and study it is given like an initiation until your eyes are open you will never see it he said call on to me and i will answer i will be the one to show you if i don't show you you cannot see it you can study you can pray you can fast but for seeing you may have eyes but you can never see it there are realms that are shown 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 it's called fellowship with the mystery you are brought into oneness with truths and revelations we'll never know it by ourselves unless he takes over we cannot know it by ourselves i'll never hear you on my own unless you take over take over jesus take over take over please sit down tonight is a call to press higher tonight is a call to shake us away and out of spiritual complacency tonight is a call to show us that there is more that regardless of that which we have seen there is more that's why i said if you have not done anything serious in the spirit this message may not be for you this message is for someone who has healed before is for someone who has prophesied before is for someone who is at the cutting edge of the move of god is for someone who has tasted and seen the power and the glory of god tonight's message is for someone who knows what it means to be used by god tonight's message is someone is for someone who knows what it means to have the anointing not guessing come up here he said come up here to a higher realm of prophecy to a higher realm of teaching to a higher realm of visions to a higher realm of spiritual power i'm a student of revivals god has granted me the privilege to study the moves of god please listen and i have studied revivals I've listened to a few senior colleagues and fathers in the ministry talk about revivals either based on their experiences or what they were told please listen carefully and I learned this from a man of God that the current move of God always fights the next move of God that the enemy of the next move of God is the current move because many times listen carefully every move of God comes with a level of outstanding results every move of God comes with a performance in a higher dimension and usually because of the the consistency that will come with that move over a period of time it is easy for those who have mastered the strategy that makes them relevant within that move to plateau in the spirit and not believe that there can be more again now listen very carefully when the healing ministry started listen carefully great men like alexander the way and these generals of god they moved in very strange dimensions but then a time came when the healing ministry seemed to just plateau because it looked like men had gotten to the zenith of what they believed that god could do when the prophetic came people rose to certain levels and it looked like those who were the highest manifestors of those gifts just stood at a realm This is not backsliding 
this is that you have exhausted every possibility that is within the jurisdiction of that move there is nothing you can do as far as that dimension is concerned you have exhausted it at that level you will need revelations chapter 4 a time will come when you will find out that every dimension you need to see as written to, for you by God within a level you have exhausted it you've read it you've preached it you've done everything and let me tell you this listen very carefully I say it with all humility but I have seen you, you see when you start walking with God because of the extent of the downpour listen carefully of visions of revelations you are being open to new things and then especially if you have the privilege of what i call pioneer status that means that you are the among the few to introduce that dimension to a territory because of the scarceness of that revelation there will be a lot to do i mean you are so full of revelation you can preach back to back and there are messages but a time will come when the people within that territory all come into that experience they are baptized into it now listen very carefully remember when you were introducing it because very few people knew about that dimension there was hunger and the hunger will always draw you anything you say there will be an applause for it because very few people could enter that dimension but with time everybody will continue to press as you guide them listen carefully you will get to a point where the least has entered like the ark of noah at that point now you will find out that together the goal for that season has been met because god now used you and showed you a dimension and so for three or four years sometimes you will not even need to study anything new you are so full so full you it's like it's a it's like an animal that has just given birth and wanting the children to suck when that happens let me tell you what happens usually because of the joy the beauty the honor the applause that comes by reason of your being used by god to produce certain dimensions you may fall into the deception that the zenith of what you communicate is all that there can be and so what you will continue doing is recycling the same thing recycling the same thing recycling the same thing to mean that this realm that I've stayed is all there can be in God. Revelation starts with John the beloved. Do you know who John was? John was not just an apostle. He was called the beloved. That means if you arrange all the disciples according to their, permit me to use the word, according to their spiritual stratification, the first will not be Peter. The first will be John, the beloved. There abided these three faith, Peter, hope, James, love, John, the greatest. You see that now. And John was banished in an isle called Patmos for the sake of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And while he was there, he said, I was in the spirit. On the lord's day that, that's another discussion there because there are things you cannot see he said flesh and blood has not revealed this there are levels in the spirit where until you rise in the spirit you cannot see you cannot know so he says i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i heard first started with his hearing i heard this and that and that and then eventually he saw the church the lamb stands and then he received the dimension of revelation to the seven churches that were in asia minor prophetically the catholic church the complete church because every one of those churches represented a dimension in the body that god was adjusting commending and correcting are we together having exhausted that then he was open to another dimension of worship in heaven are we together and to think that that was all 
John was being told by this revelation that John at this plane that you stand now there is nothing to see again everything has been seen and every instruction has been received notice John was never shown things that will happen from that plane he only saw things that were and things that are that was it then chapter 4 comes and he says come up hither and let's go to the future let me show you the things that must happen shortly and John rolls to the future there are realms that when you stand there you will see what has happened and what is happening but you may never see what God is up to you can be a Christian you can still be called I learned very early in life and in ministry that as wonderful as fame is it can be dangerous that as wonderful as revelation and leadership is let me tell you this if you ever assume a pioneer status in the spirit you have to be extra careful pioneers are usually the ones who hardly finish read the bible there are few pioneers that finished moses leads the people and never gets into the promised land himself are you seeing that now it's very important it's easy to follow a move that was not introduced by you it's easy to follow on yours is just to observe and plate and to conform to it by the spirit the nation of israel did not have to climb the mountain to experience god they just needed to look at the face of the one who already went what was in the mountain was now on the face of a man so instead of climbing up the mountain they just kept looking at moses and they would have the same experience but it was up to moses to know the next thing that god would be doing are we together now as powerful as moses was you can see the extent of his trial and error they will wait behind and wait for him to go and fish out the new move then all of them will come and follow it was because of this moses was instructed to speak to the rock and in anger he struck the rock and because of that he said no 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 no. this was not my program you've corrupted it you cannot enter canaan pioneering the move of god is very dangerous many people like the honor that follows this and that to say oh we are the ones that started this dimension but you see the thing about it is that because you are at that level you will feel indebted to that level you will be emotionally connected to that move you cannot leave it to the next level are we together now yes that you were the first to be to open up a dimension of god to a territory it's like you are the first to start producing this and now when you are aware that this is no longer in use if everybody leaves it you will not want to leave it too because of that relationship that's how it is even with spiritual things there are dimensions that you can be so emotionally connected to because of the experiences that surround that dimension and when another move of god starts coming you will prefer that the move comes to meet you there but not to leave that level and to rise higher that's why i said it is dangerous to pioneer spiritual things it's a noble cause and it's a noble task but the burden on it it will only take the spirit of the living god to help you the second reason why it is dangerous or by dangerous i don't mean it is not advantageous that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that you are in a very vulnerable position the second is that because of the charisma and the ego are we together and the sense of achievement that surrounds that level the moment you and any other move that is happening within that dispensation that you don't seem to be involved in you can preach that it is error or it is satanic or it is demonic because you are used to being the starter you are not used to following 
you are used to starting moves understand what i'm saying you know you see that if you have not done anything in god tonight's teaching may not really bless you john was the first of his kind to introduce this dimension of the prophetic a very strange prophet the bible says of all the prophets none was as great as john so john is in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey a strange dimension of revelation when jesus comes john baptizes jesus and then he's happy that he's baptized jesus even john said i may decrease i'm not sure he understood what he was saying now eventually the disciples of john had to start living to join something that was a move john was never in one of jesus's crusades they didn't hang him the next day they didn't lock him the next day john was alive he was there he never saw the need because he believed that the the emotional connect and the ego of pioneering things did not allow him to go there notice all the people that seemed to be pioneers were those who were offended with jesus the scribes and the pharisees we are the sanhedrin council what are you doing jesus all the followers were excited what is the new thing let us join if it's bread we eat if it's the mountain we climb but the scribe said not so this is not how we have been doing it including john follow me very carefully so john is hearing of the things jesus is doing and a few disciples who are loyal to him too come back look at the pain in john's heart the people he had raised i don't know what john thought he would become but his honor was already there for his assignment completed but john probably believed that he would continue to run that ministry the same way jesus was running it to like a parallel whatever it is and it seemed as though jesus did not have regard for john because we never see jesus making any mention of john go and greet john or oh, john just to tell you your boy is still here the move continues and the fame of jesus is growing john is threatened the scribes are threatened the roman government threatened everything every day was an episode of mighty things listen very carefully follow me i want to show you something powerful mm. one day john gets himself in trouble and he's behind bars about to be beheaded and he sends in offense listen this is the current move fighting the next move go and confirm are you the one that we should be waiting for are you the messiah or is there another it was a sarcastic statement it was not a question that required an answer john was not ignorant he was a prophet and when jesus had it jesus said i know what the problem is it's a weakness in men it's a weakness in pioneers it's a weakness in those who are trusted to pioneer certain moves listen what i'm teaching you is very deep you will listen to one message some years to come and you will cry when god sent you to a region where they do not know one tenth of the truths that god has taught you and for many years you become a celebrity and a mighty man and god begins to do mighty things in and through you and then one day you will hear and see of things that you were not involved with and you will see. this is the challenge oh, let me not go ahead of myself this is one of the major challenges with all due respect of fathers and senior colleagues in ministry because of the mighty things that god did in and through them and the dimensions that were introduced sincerely speaking not out of wickedness or whatever they were so emotionally connected to starting things that they believe that if god is ever to do anything it is impossible for them to not start it so when they hear that mighty things are happening and they don't seem to be involved they think it's to their honor 
whereas john was not there when jesus commended him as the greatest prophet in other words as far as this move is concerned receive your crown. you have done a great job but let the program of god continue and if you are interested you will have to humble yourself and join that move provided you are not pioneering it i will show you those who got it right in the bible one of them was mary no woman as a virgin had ever gotten pregnant it was a new dimension now mary had a right to sit down and say my son jesus my this my that but when she discerned there was a new move she followed them to the upper room and waited quietly the mother of jesus among the 120 who would receive the holy ghost was it not the before some of them were born she had been relating with the holy ghost it was the holy ghost that got her pregnant and now she's coming to receive him in another dimension with humility you understand what i will teach you you will never miss any move of god if you don't get it there are moves that will leave you you will stand in shock it's not backsliding you will just say lord when did this cloud pass me mary got it right john did not it. john was offended i will show you that even jesus got it right he knew that purpose was not just to come and remain on earth he knew the timing and even in advance he began to tell them i am not afraid of handing over because it is in handing over that my honor is multiplied listen so jesus is preparing the people watch this and then he uses a very dangerous statement it is expedient that i go ah. they said no you must remain here you will be king we ate bread we like you remain we like this kind of ministry but he was saying no 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 i'm even coming to i'm a bridge between the old and the new you must be so desperate for god that the position you occupy in the things of God should not matter you must be so desperate for the things of God like Mary you can give birth to Jesus and still join to wait she was not the one leading praise and worship in the upper room if Mary comes and sits in Koinonia now I will give her the mic I will just give her and sit down what does it like to carry the word of God bodily for nine months Mary talk to us let's learn I will hand over the ministry to Mary there was no mention of her speaking imagine Mary was there among the 120 so Peter is praying remember Jesus told us that in 10 more days the Holy Ghost will come and Mary is watching them you know the level of humility it takes to be a mighty mover in a dimension sustain the humility to stand back there is an obsession in men to be known there is an obsession in men to be famous it's a weakness in men please listen back to our story so john is offended and makes a sarcastic statement go and ask jesus whether he's the messiah the same said behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world now said go and verify jesus we are not sure again do you know what that message would have done to the disciples they would have said if prophet john is now doubting jesus it means we have to be careful it was a sarcastic way of saying be careful with that meeting be careful with that move <laughs> so when jesus had it he laughed he said go and the blind see this and that and the gospel is preached he said blessed is he that is not offended in me then the disciples were now at the center stage and one day listen carefully they heard that there were other people who were not part of their camp there was there were some powerful miracles happening somewhere and the disciples said jesus what is going on here and jesus laughed he said you guys want to make the mistake of john whoever is not against us 
whoever is not against us is for us they were so happy there was a time the, the remember the mother of james and john she wanted to come and see him the disciples stopped her and said what is it we're in a move we're enjoying you see why they were angry when jesus said he was going they said well, what is all this one now so what is our own take on this you have created trouble for us and now you want to leave you are not going anywhere and jesus said no it is expedient that i go i'm going because you will now be on the center stage with the holy spirit and they refused jesus was secured enough to finish his assignment and to step back to say spirit of the living god these are the ones that represent the next move use them mightily i will still be glorified i'm digressing to make this statement so that you will understand i have seen a lot of people who started great things in the body and today they are not benefactors of the next move because their attachment and their ego will not give them the flexibility to blend into what god was doing and so because they are they are being inert in the next move of god will have to require an explanation so they will fabricate an explanation that communicates error and they'll say forget about those people that's one of the reasons why so many people have insulted the prophetic today i know that the prophetic has its own errors i know if the prophetic has its own imbalances but many people because the dealings of god at that time did not open up to this dimension there are people for instance who will see what just happened here and say no way god does not move like this this is nonsense just because god did not move the way he was moving before does not mean he's not the one moving the flexibility to discern the next move of god and that if you are interested you open up your heart and say lord i must not pioneer that move to join what you are doing if it is god and it brings glory to you i'm on my way going it's a very difficult if you are a follower it's okay but if you are one who moves why will you see mary among the 120 sitting quietly i have looked for certain names who were once great names in the body in as much as the move of the spirit within their time was there and those names are almost silent and there has been no interest to find out what else is God doing and sometimes they have begun to teach that look anything that is outside the scope of what we know is nonsense that is a dangerous thing that is the mistake of John John would have followed Jesus quietly and he would have died honorably there would have been no reason for being beheaded in every crusade Jesus would have given him honor even the scribes were given honor as terrible where they never sat outside they sat inside they hated him but at least they followed they followed nicodemus came one day and said jesus let me tell you we are not stupid we know we know we see what you are doing we see the formation of a new move we know that you are a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him except god be with him i'm taking our time to establish this before we begin to build i just felt it strongly in my spirit to tell us do you know why i'm saying this zaria hear me you are a privileged place this is a place that god has put his hand very strongly and many people from here listen god is distributing people from this city across several places and you see when you get to some of those regions you will be surprised that as cheap as some of these revelations we trivialize are you will find out that some of those regions are in utter scarcity and you will be so relevant within a period and if you do not sustain the discernment to know what next when people come into that dimension and you don't know how to come up hither 
you will be in big trouble you will become the biggest enemy to the next move of god alexander the way was a mighty mighty healing evangelist listen carefully he created what we call zion the zion city are we together now when you know then they didn't have internet and communication was not strong so you couldn't know what was happening in, in another part of the world the way was doing a mighty mighty work until a strange woman later appeared called maria woodward eater listen when maria woodward eater appeared she introduced a dimension of the move of god that they call presence evangelism that was when people would fall down like this and literally freeze in the same position for hours having heavenly encounters and she was a woman until then the way was not aware that something was happening at the other side of the world the day alexander the way heard it history has it this is confirmed alexander the way told everybody that this woman number one as a woman number two this dimension was occultism and he used his influence to fight that woman her first husband joined that conviction and fought her till he died the current move of god usually will be the biggest challenge to the next move of god the same way the law was the biggest challenge to the grace of god remember that the sanhedrin council started by the impartation of the spirit of moses upon 70 elders that's how it started eventually it had now become a religious place and when jesus came they could not even identify him so john had exhausted all his revelation within a dimension he had seen had john returned back john would never believe that there were higher dimensions but then the angel told him come up here please prophesy to somebody say come up here come up here and i will show you the things that must happen I call what I just explained to you the tragedy of complacency that comes with a successful move of God. It is a complacency. It is, it is, it is weaved in men. It is a weakness in men. That when, when you are successful in executing God's desire for a season, usually the impetus to inquire lord can there be more will not be there because there are obvious evidences nobody can come and say you are not anointed nobody can say you are not intelligent the records are there to show that you are anointed the records are there to show you have built a great church the records are there to show you are mighty let me give you an instance in nigeria today the pattern of church growth is that there usually will be a central church like a headquarters is that true and then you will now have branches all together connected do you know that was not how it was before there was a move of god that brought that formation do you know what the next move is because many young people in our generation now every dimension you climb has the strategy for the move of god i'm not saying that is wrong you understand what i'm saying so the way god revealed to our fathers most of them you will find out that there is a central headquarters is that true that coordinates everything then there are branches around the world it was never like that in the history of nigeria in fact before that time the strategy was to have a small church and be dangerously anointed and just hide there like a seer and your job is to part and release people that was the strategy men like apostle babalola it was after his death that csc expanded like that the, the apostolic church and, and all of that when you read about them most of the great pioneers of the churches we have today especially around the west when they were the way they were they were small look at redeem for instance the founder they had not received the blueprint 
of establishment and expansion like that our fathers stayed with god and god said for this move that i am bringing this is the strategy i am revealing are you seeing that now but as wonderful as that is it can be dangerous for someone in our generation to just mechanically begin to envisage because in the next 20 years technology has taught us that you must be at the cutting edge of evolution the same way it is scientifically that's the same way it is spiritually so if in our generation your dream is to have branches in every state you are already at the verge of missing something serious because that is not the pattern that will come we must be able to stay and say lord what is the pattern as at the time that move started there was no internet to agree so the advantage of connectivity was not there do you know what the move of god will be now that internet is an advantage that a man can sit in his room and be talking to the whole world it's dangerous to be where god was it's dangerous to be where god was he said holy holy is the lord god almighty who was who is and who is to come it's a dangerous thing to be where god was it's a dangerous thing to be involved in what god was doing you have to posture yourself to be relevant in what god is doing and what he's about to do your current level at your current spiritual level you can only see what god is doing that's the limit if you want to see the future you must come up here from revelations one to three there was nothing futuristic it was a revelation of things that were and the things that are the moment he wanted to see the next program of god he was asked to rise to a higher dimension if you're with me say amen so we must trust god for grace to conquer what i call the tragedy of complacency please be careful when you are the greatest of your kind within a territory pray more fast more because the rest are waiting for you to move and if you don't move just like you they will stay and can i tell you something usually when the move of god comes all the followers are just faster because there is no embarrassment like the disciples of john it is usually you you see which is also another reason why listen men of god we must teach as though there is more in god it is dangerous that you are teaching doctrines doctrines will not change they are exact spiritual precepts given to the saints but when you are studying the life the character of god you must create a lot of flexibility and i'm the position of a student even before your members so that there is no embarrassment if and when you have to adjust to the things that god is doing if you're with me say amen mm. an arrival mentality is a dangerous mentality for a christian for a man of god an arrival mentality i've seen miracles i've seen signs i've seen wonders i've seen the move of god but could that could could it be that there's more in god than you've not seen now i'm going to make a very serious statement i want you to listen mention names is a father of faith that has gone to be with the lord respected voice in the body a great well, I call him great grandfather now Papa E. Hagen when you read Hagen's books and you see a lot of things that Hagen wrote you will know that Hagen was absolutely at the cutting edge of what God was doing at his time but when you read Papa Hagen's books with the lens of what God is doing now you will find a lot of gaps and the need for improvement which is proof he succeeded it's not proof that he's weak it's proof that he succeeded he left us a template a ladder to build upon 
It was Papa Hagen that wrote things like the anointing of the spirit. The only medium that the anointing can move upon is a prayer cloth. And he's right because he saw it in the Bible. But now we know that that is not absolutely true. It was a dimension of truth that was seen based on him. The anointing of the spirit is as limitless as God himself. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's very important. Let me tell you this. I have seen visions of the coming move of God and I have been stretched myself because of the dimension of the things that will happen. Those dimensions will be fought tooth and nail. When I say tooth and nail, there are dimensions that even as a strong believer, you will need grace from God. You will need to look well from the lens of scripture is the reason why god is grounding us on the word now so that when that dimension comes the your dexterity in the word will make you beautiful. <laughs> listen to what i'm telling you there are things we have not yet seen on earth that must happen before christ comes the bible records it there are dimensions we have only spoken about the prophet said it if as i'm standing here right now you just see this mic on the table and i'm out i'm gone by this night an internet is going to say finally exposed the voodoo power even from this example some of you are already afraid for me apostle don't do it oh you see let me tell you this yet we read in the bible that the spirit took philip and told him to join the chariot of a man not in a vision a man dematerialized entered the realm of the spirit reformed back and stayed on a chariot and the eunuch was afraid he didn't run away he told nathaniel you will see greater things than this he told nathaniel that you will see heavens opened and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man let me tell you this the miracles that have stretched us now and the dimensions of the power and the word of god will be child's play compared to the things that god has because the pride of men and this cosmos there must be the introduction of something so divine and powerful to bring the kings to their knees this current level cannot bring the kings to their knees again you can what you call now the move of god go to dubai go to singapore go to the u.s and challenge them they will look at you and say stupid this is what you came to tell me let me tell you the truth we are not going to win the world just by charity i believe in charity don't get me wrong but right now the church is beginning to be so afraid they don't have any other superior result so they just have to blend to feed the poor so that that's the only condition to be accredited by non-christian organizations that the, the world's interpretation of the church's relevance is feeding the poor and hungry and i don't have a problem with it but they are reducing us so everybody is now saying look it looks like the court the in thing now if you don't want to be criticized quietly find orphans or find widows buy sewing machine and color or something just share and snap and the world will say well done this is what you the colder you are the more the world says well done we are now seeing what you are doing there are tv programs today that will not air koinonia like this with what happened no way no way with the move of god like this someone shouting <clears throat> you are creating controversy that will make the regulatory agencies get into trouble like i said if you're a new believer tonight you will need extra grace from god that's why i i pre-warned you already ahead of time we need something more than what we have now to bring the arrogance of the kings of the earth let me tell you they have prosperity they have health do you know that most of what we claim the power of god does we don't even have it well 
mention three or four things the only thing that the church now in as much as we know can boast of one salvation two the personal communion of the holy spirit three the peace that surpasses all understanding but as far as anything earthly is concerned and the things i just mentioned are the things we don't emphasize most of the things we emphasize are the things we cannot defend So we talk a lot about the miraculous. And while we are making all that noise, someone in Dubai has discovered a way of just making what we will do as a miracle cheap. And they will soon make it easy. And if that happens, we are going to be in trouble. Because a day will come on a crusade ground, just sharing a fence will be a free medical outreach with sophisticated machines. And those who are not healed in our meetings will just enter there quickly. And in five minutes, they are giving when that happens i'm not being sarcastic when that happens let me tell you something will go wrong because one day the government can shut down a church and say we have examined and we cannot see your relevance the church is more than a charity organization it is our fear and our inability to rise higher we have a, remember there was a time where the healing ministry the prophetic and all these things was cast on earth the world had not caught up with that dimension so if you had it you could shine but not now not now put a poster and put a wheelchair up nobody could dare question a miracle before but right now someone will come in that crusade ground you will think he came to be blessed he's videotaping everything from your face to the person on the wheelchair they will go and examine the person and say was that leg going to work anyway or was it your prayer that made it work if i have malaria and i've started taking anti-malaria and i'm on day four and you pray for me was i going to be healed anyway or was it the prayer that brought it this is the judgmental spirit that our generation has in the days of our fathers nobody will ask that question it will be on paper mighty things are happening and a crowd now mighty things draw criticism our generation let me tell you this ask some of our parents who are here there were many things that they knew that was not the best but they had an unflinching loyalty for the voices in their time nobody would dare stand up and question a man of god if they were not satisfied they would leave him and go home and pray for him remember that talk of pray for him right now a man can be preaching and a young man can stand up and say sir what you are saying no and create a debate there welcome to a new level of living where if we don't get the strategy for now we will be in trouble are we together thank god for prosperity but of the forbes hundred richest people i'm not sure there are up to 10 of them who are tongue -to stems. so using physical wealth to bring the world to his knees is almost a failed project because there are some of these people who have given 95 percent of their wealth i'm not aware of any believer who has done that now i may be wrong but i'm not aware it means he must take something more than money if it's education the best institutes in the whole world are not christian institutes my brothers and my sisters let me tell you whether it's research whether it's medicine whether it's whatever we have to be honest if it's in the term in terms of well-meaning uh, civilization and all of that go to hedonistic nation that have no for god and look at level of development infrastructure you look at all of these things many of them are already the future of africa in the next 30 years now what then will bring the kings of today's world to their knees when moses went with a rod to meet pharaoh pharaoh said nonsense you left the wilderness to come and show me a rod to become a snake i am pharaoh you show me more We can sing songs and fall down in the church congratulations but let me tell you we need to take something out that can bring the kings to their knees in babylon babylon was a place of wizardry 
there was something that happened with daniel there was something that happened with shadrach meshach and abednego that made the king to testify the king passed a decree unanimously that nobody should bow to any other god again except the god of shadrach meshach and abednego are we blessed we must receive grace to not ever believe that what we have seen is all there is we must obtain grace please hear me if you have history here thank god for the wonderful things but you must obtain grace the second point on what i want to talk about tonight i'm just charging your mind the first i, I put it as the tragedy of complacency and arrival mentality the second is a condition that must be needed and met in a life if you will ever attract the hand of god that will take you to a higher dimension is called hunger and thirst it's not enough to be ready to move to another level hunger and thirst are accurate measures of your spiritual health the same way when a patient is sick one of the symptoms in most cases is that you lose appetite when you lose appetite spiritual something is wrong matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness it says that they will be filled hunger and thirst john chapter 7 and verse 37 let's read it very quickly boy my time is gone john 7 and verse 37 look up please in the last day the great day of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if you do not thirst you can stay with what i've given with all the days but in this new day i have been visiting you but on this last day if you are still thirsty come listen listen and understand what he's saying remember that it was not the first day the last day they had benefited from all the other days but in the last day he said if any man thirst let him come you have enjoyed the move of god before you have seen the hand of god before you have seen the grace of god before you have seen the sick healed before and god is saying in 2019 if there is any man that still thirsts, come if there is any church that is still thirsty come koinonia if you still believe there is more and you desire come that means if you are not thirsty you can go it's all right if any man thirst let him come hunger and thirst powerful without hunger and thirst there is no appetite and there is no desire for more of god this teaching you hear me tell you tonight if you don't hunger after it will not make sense you want to listen to something else this is a teaching for people who know that there can be more this is a teaching for many people who know that lord seen you or oh, i've seen you do a lot of things but i know that there is more in you there is more in you this was the mistake of lucifer lucifer saw a dimension of god he was the custodian the librarian of heaven and by the strength of everything he saw he believed he had exhausted all there was in god and then he wanted to rise to run a parallel government with god and there was judgment in heaven and he was brought to his knees that was why when god was recreating man it surprised him because he didn't know that those possibilities were there they were not captured in the truths that were given to him reproduction multiplication through reproduction had never happened it was creation now that a man one man can meet with his wife and have a child that will own ah said something is wrong and so the angels came to meet with the daughters of men 
to use that strategy to create something else hunger and thirst one of my prayers a man of god every time i said lord please you know i've shared it with you here lord do not show me the extent of my impact it's my prayer and i'm saying it even as i'm preaching here just give me a token let me just see a bit of what you are using me to do and i'm grateful and i'm satisfied let me tell you if you think fame cannot influence you think again mm. was it not the same alexander the way that went to a tailor went to a fashion designer to sew just mantle with the cap that kind of prophet chef cap he sold everything and tied his ghetto behold elijah he read the bible and said this man is me now what is this what have, what has he done that i'm not doing they first started saying you are elijah they know no all glory be to the lord but the time came they said you are elijah it's true there are things you will not believe now keep rising tomorrow they will say it and you will believe it how do you think people become jesus i don't mean image of jesus likeness of jesus some gentlemen came here one time from Kano. remember those that those jesus guys and the apostles now i say i don't know if you are here but they came some gentlemen immediately after service and one of them came for altar call as soon as they were done i just saw the gentleman he said he's was it judas one was judas one was jesus and this young man came from Kano. as soon as i saw them i gave them a big hug i said look uh, my, my jesus friend let me tell you something you are in the image listen please i'm teaching you are in the image of christ yes are we together you have attained oneness with christ based on the doctrine of the gospel yes you are in christ one with christ yes are we together now the holy spirit represents the presence of jesus in your life yes but that you are jesus in terms of replacement you are not like that do you think that guy got born again like that not seen people pray under a tree for many weeks and by the fifth week they left that tree mad with strange revelations from beings that were not of earth pride is a dangerous thing fame has a side effect when people begin to clap for you sometimes it becomes embarrassing to step back and let jesus be seen because spotlight is sweet oh oh mine mediocre spotlight can can bless your children's children so when the spotlight is on you you plan to be there forever so that when you shift your child too will be there when you shift your grandchild too will be there but there are times when jesus says that you decrease that you will increase and many times it is embarrassing you know i go for meetings and when i see the mighty things that god is doing or sometimes when i'm teaching and the teaching grace is really on me i see the shock and the wonder on the people and i say oh dear don't be deceived you're only watching a puppet there is one behind me may i never be ashamed to let the world know that i am nothing without him this is not just some humility creed there are many proud people who say this thing i'm saying it's very true you must get to a point in your life where you are not ashamed to stand back and tell the people it is jesus jesus ever jesus only he says and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men to myself let's get back to what we're discussing hunger and thirst there are times as a man of god come it will be embarrassing at your spiritual level to now join the flock to kneel down and cry for his a greater dimension you kneeling down for the flock can kneel down i'm kneeling down this guy is standing <laughs> are we together watch this a time a time can come huh when everybody is crying for more people are rolling on the ground and saying lord search my heart and as a man of god 
it's not any personality difference you would let them to the throne room and you are just standing there there's no need because you have become the throne room yourself you see deception is subtle so you will tell them to fast and you too you will not fast what is the need i mean whether i fast or not you see that if you want to be captured in every move of god same hunger that made you climb a tree like a monkey and held on to one branch and cried there and said god i will not come down from this tree except you bless me and god said come down i will show you what you want to see if that same hunger is not there now you can stay in a five-star hotel listen now you have all kinds of entourage do you know sometimes i look at my life today and i thank god for what god has done many times there are times that i wish that i had my life back in the days when nobody knew me fame can be destructive even to your spiritual life i can't go out freely i can't eat freely i can't be myself you see that i can't stroll out to just enjoy what god is doing if someone there catches me there instead of coming to join the line now that i've seen him let me just quickly it's a very embarrassing life it looks like fame but it's dangerous time today is a luxury you must intentionally sometimes close the door to some of this comfort and retreat back listen to me and say lord this is still your boy of before again oh they now call me apostle joshua selman but this is still your boy again and god says are you still as hungry as before he say hungrier than before oh god after the miracles yes sir after the fame yes sir hmm. and then he says now i will take you and show you higher things hunger can be discerned and let me tell you this if you're a man of god please listen your congregation will be a reflection of your hunger the moment you become complacent that impartation will come on them they will strangely find out that the grace is no longer there everybody say hunger almost 80 to 85 percent of the time if you meet me if i'm not studying i'm listening to a message or something there are times i just return from administration right there just entering my hotel room you would think i should lie down and cross my leg i started playing a message before i quickly went to go and preach now that i'm back thank god for the mighty things sincerely god is my witness there are a few times that i think about a meeting and what happened once i leave that place it's all right if you ever ask me how is the meeting the only thing you will hear is fine doesn't matter what happened the answer is fine that's it one of the mighty things that happened here fine a few times some of you send me pictures and clips of what happened and i look at it whoa you mean this what happened lord i give you praise let's continue do you know why because you see you prepared for today yesterday you don't prepare for tomorrow tomorrow you prepare for tomorrow today they are celebrating what you did yesterday if you are not doing anything today there will be nothing to celebrate tomorrow listen to me you have to learn this those who win olympic as soon as they are done they rest for a while go on a vacation one month and they're already preparing for the next olympic champions don't rest champions move not in a competitive manner there is more in god listen to me you are not going to clap for me now because someone fell under the anointing you may do that for your president in your small fellowship you're not going to say glory be to god koinonia was powerful because someone was shaking no there are testimonies today that if you hear in another church you will stand up and clap i watch here somebody would give a very big testimony and coin up no, no, just clap one hand and say is this it go and sit down we want something more and you are right you are right you are right because your capacity is being expanded 
that means yesterday's food will not feed you give an adult a baby's food and you say this is for what the baby is grateful for having it but the adult is still hungry don't you know that the more you grow the more the nourishment must be strong in size and quality the burden of being at the cutting edge of God's move will require you to be, listen, listen, that hunger must remain in you. That hunger must remain in you. You see all the wonderful things that just happened when the, the meeting just started. I go back to God. Let me tell you something with me and God. There are few times, and I want to be very sincere with you, God is in this place. There are few times where God comments on any meeting that I've gone to. No. This is the realm of champions. You don't talk like mediocres. I don't come back to God and God says, Ah, son, you did a great job in that crusade. What for? No. Let's continue the training. Like a coach looks at an athlete. You are the best in the field. And after they snap you and do everything, the coach is watching you. Not in anger, he's impressed. And once you come, he says, go and change your clothes. Wait for me in the field. It's proof of his love. You have conquered that standard. And he takes you higher. This is what happened to David. David was so, David exhausted the realm of his generation. And rose up into another realm. And began to see the coronation of the Messiah. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand. No other prophet saw that. It was David that understood the excellency of the spirit. The spirit was never given without measure to people. Please listen. And now David had got it. He said, cast me not away from your presence. Take not. Other prophets were comfortable with the Holy Spirit going and coming. David said, but I've seen that a move of God will come. When this grace, the spirit will come and stay. Lord, can I not enter that move? Hunger. Hunger took David to the secret place as a king. The palace did not mean anything to him. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'd rather be an usher. Let me be an usher. The next move than to be a lord in the former move. Hunger and thirst for you. Try and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you Try and feel your land For all I want is you In spite of the miracles in spite of the revelations, I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. Yeah. Sing it from your heart. All I want is you. Lord, thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the miracles, for the word of knowledge, the prophetic. But Lord, I thank you for yesterday's wine. But I need the wine of today and tomorrow. I hunger and thirst. Try and weary land. Listen, you must trust God for your secret place to have such a high standard that no matter what you are doing currently, when you get back to the secret place, you will see that it's a step out of the... If your bar is too small, pride will kill you. If your bar is too small, one successful program will kill you. That's why you see all these young guys. Listen, listen. Sometimes I talk to them 
and I encourage them don't let successful programs enter you don't let successful concerts enter you are you seeing that there are people whose spiritual lives went down there are people who could not pursue and seek after God again the next move of God success can depreciate your pace because when you are motivated by a need to hit a standard listen it will give you an impetus but where there is no where there is nothing to prove again there is no hunger when you go for a meeting today whether you say god bless you and leave nobody will ever say oh he doesn't have revelation oh come on the track record is there nobody will ever say oh he cannot heal that's why he just did altar call and sat down when you are starting out in ministry the pressure to make your calling and election choice upon you so even in five minutes you want to do everything at once you want to prophesy you want to give word of knowledge you want to heal you want to share the latest revelation but as god begins to crown your 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 your, your life with undeniable graces and honor you get to a point where the pressure to rise is not there and it shows that you have plateaued it shows that you have arrived but when your hunger remains ah. when I was preparing this message I was praying for my own self I said Lord my hunger should be larger than every anybody's own in this ministry otherwise how can I lead hunger I've prayed more but show me something else about prayer I've seen your power before but show me the one I've not seen I've seen your anointing but show me something else I have seen the spirit of revelation but show me something else I have seen angels but show me another dimension at the apex of his apostolic ministry look at a man's hunger that I may know him that I may know him Paul I hope you know the doctrine of scripture starts from the writings of Paul the acts of the apostles down to revelation the gospels do not contain doctrines no the doctrines of scripture are embedded there some of them were just shadows as presented Paul single-handedly wrote to third do you know what it means for a man to create the study curriculum of the church it was not just Jesus that wrote it Paul sat down and wrote to thirds the the limit of our spiritual growth is scripture that is the boundary given to us for growth and a man sat down by the spirit and wrote it yet when that man finished writing it he said that I may know him that I may know him oh God that I may know you that I may know you I have seen your power but that I may know you A man of God said he went for a pastor's conference one time and Pastor E.A. Adeboye was there. And when it was time for all the men of God to pray, he said he wanted to lie down close to him to hear what kind of prayer a man at this realm would pray. And he said when he lay down all through for more than one hour, all that he was saying is mercy, mercy Lord, mercy, mercy Lord mercy the young minister there is in power power lord result open doors oh god offering send help us that 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 small kiosk like building must be completed whereas there is a man here with kilometers as an estate and his language and his desire mercy he has learned that one of the most important things is the mercy of god Are you getting what I'm telling you now? Hunger. Hunger. If you're a pastor here, please minimize just praying for power and cry for hunger. Go back and buy the same new notebooks you bought 
that the spirit of revelation came to honor it you have stopped buying it go and buy them again go and find a place where you used to sit alone with God I'm too busy I have counseling to do I have mentees and sons in ministry and you would die there and they will go to the next move because they are followers you are worried and obsessed about many things but one thing is needful to sit at the master's feet please listen to me the things you did that brought you to this realm go back and start creating the atmospheres for them again hear what i'm telling you this is not the issue of i'm a big man now no 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 I have my notebooks you see my notebooks i can i can gather all of them for you from the time i started working with god when i go for retreats i go with all of them all of them lord what did you say my god look at what you said i bought new ones for tomorrow i buy it like this and i show the lord i say lord see it your student is here again packs of viral i'm ready because if you are not ready to hear and listen and write he's not ready to speak the level that koinonia is right now is already exhausted there i'm already preparing and aligning for the next seasons not today the preparation of yesterday brought us to where we are today thank god for what god is doing around the world through this ministry but my brothers and my sisters is child's play and if we remain complacent clapping we will become like the old wine we must be at the cutting edge of god's move through hunger genuine hunger oh that we will have men and women of god again who will organize program for others but for yourself you organize a program with the same energy for others for yourself hunger next point my time is up my god you want to come up higher in the spirit You will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication please write it down this is one of the dimensions where the prayer ministry is irreplaceable if it is the next level and the next move of god there is no there is nothing you will do to replace the ministry of prayer Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Please write it quickly. Call on to me and I will answer. The revelation is an answer. It's a response. I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet captured in your experience. Call on to me. Call on to me. Let me tell you something I've observed. And I, I say this respectfully. And I think it's a correction that the body of Christ needs to get there are few believers who pray for edification most believers have left the ministry of edification to prayer most of our prayer is either warfare or request there's nothing wrong with warfare there's nothing wrong with request but let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer is for edification where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request where less than five percent of your prayer is in english you are not just entering to harass god you are not just entering to say lord there are powers sitting on my destiny leave destiny the goal is edification and you feel the growth you feel the stretching from your spirit man very few believers pray for edification you can know it because you stand near them they are weak as weak as whatever they love god but their capacity is weak strength is discernible is why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass god all around 
but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of God will come on the wings of genuine prayer thank God for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can I tell you this those who were here many years ago in Zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by God around there were few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request believers who gather and just are praying no prayer point no prayer request is towards the end of the prayer they'll just say lord just to let you know we have not eaten and we trust your grace for supplies just to let you know that we have this 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 issue but the average believer right now prays but our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust the need for things so i can go to pray and spend six hours there correct well done but that six hours is almost five hours of harassing god when will the power come oh god is that prayer that's inquiry you've not started praying there are few believers who can who can pray if a request is not if a prayer point is not raised you want them to pray you have to raise a prayer point say this then they say so oh, i now follow and, and pray it turn it into a prayer point but when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when it's all right everybody stand up lord jesus lord jesus my life my life this and that this and that i'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the holy ghost if you were not filled with the holy ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the holy spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing Bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at Jesus the Word of God filled with the Holy Spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched Gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies I agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with God you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tom tom you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness 
God rewards seriousness. There are pastors who are like that. Every two minutes, you are leaking something or swallowing something. There are times that you go to pray, my brothers and my sisters, you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven. You don't know. It's a realm. There are many things about prayer when it's said, most believers don't know. Because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense. We must pray. Our weaknesses are becoming very glaring. We must pray for capacity. In fact, most people never sought anointing. It was a byproduct of some of these things. They didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly. Now, all and sundry, you see a lazy people around crying for Benny Hinn's grace in, in the secret place. Five minutes. Lord, a, a double portion of what is on Benny Hinn. Let it, and God is trying to say, no, no, no. I can give you just I don't want any. He, who, you know, if you are God, you give good gifts to those who love you. And God said, this is not how it works. Have regard for Benny Hinn, not just God. You want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back. Five minutes snoring back. No. Revive your prayer life. Revive your prayer life. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Please hear me. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Don't just pray needs. Don't just pray warfare. Pray to grow. Pray to grow. That's how many of us enter the realms of visions. It was not a conscious request. You pray your way till you break the gate that closes this realm and the next realm. Prayer. Like a system of transport. Revive your prayer life. Say amen. There are men of God who don't pray. They are praying for me. That's a deception. It's a deception from the pit of hell. Let me tell you this. If you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer, there is a signature that, that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you. Are we together now your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer you can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness you know that this one is just is just it's not just the huskiness of your voice there is a it, it, the deep calls on to deep people know that this one mm -mm, you have you have is like creating a hole there is a a position your leg can stand in prayer when you find a widespread congregation not praying, it's because the leaders don't pray. You only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you. Please learn to pray. Don't pray when you have a meeting. This is what people do. When they have conferences, they now organize imaginary um, um, five or seven days prayer i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer i'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of god said something that blessed me i think it was dr paul enenche I heard something that he said I, I scrabbled it somewhere and it it blessed me I said boy I was going to share this I can I can I can't find it again but I think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you 
then everything that belongs to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an I don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house I didn't like it so I left the house the tree goes with it when you are changed many requests change too he spake a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator i'm the coordinator of a prayer group so i pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite coordinate yourself behind a tree coordinate yourself behind a door and sit down and pray if there's no space in your house use your bathroom use your toilet lock up that place and pray stroll out in the night and pray you don't have to shout and harass the people there but pray if your bed is uncomfortable stand up from it stand up from it don't pray one leg is on the ground 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up you don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't know, i will show you that i'm a member of koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. no 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 make deposits of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you praying there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call on to me call on to me call on to me Zechariah chapter 12 we'll stop here and pray we'll continue next week Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 come up here through prayer verse 10 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 and it shall come to pass in that day said the Lord and I will pour upon the house of David the house of Koinonia and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that the spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray if you pray only because you are in prayer band you are not a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is not somebody what is who is a warrior remove prayer a warrior boxer learns every day a warrior chef cooks every day whether there's an appointment or not a warrior lecturer teaches every day a prayer warrior prays every day if a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing the scribes and the pharisees were never called prayer warriors they were called hypocrites are we together we'll take 10 minutes or so to pray come up here new dimensions in the spirit Prayer. hallelujah before we pray just cry in one minute lord thank you for what you have done at this level but baptize me with a fresh hunger a hunger that swallows up every achievement that has been wrought in god in my life thank you oh god for the people i have mentored but a fresh hunger pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger culminating into passion 
not just passion for studying books not just passion for studying the bible not just passion for going to church not just passion for serving in the house of god passion to pray not just praying and asking praying and growing praying and rising are you praying Honga o God, Honga o God, Honga o God, Honga o God, Honga o God. Seke teke teke te, rakata branda skada balakato, Honga. Honga. Challenge pride. Challenge the deceptiveness of fame. The deceptiveness of fame glory. Thank you, Lord, for these things you have done. But I cry for hunger. I cry for a test. To understand what you are saying next. To understand what you are doing next. Parado shalakata, embreka teka teka topa karut. Alleluia. 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 In the next maybe five to ten minutes, I just want you to blast in tongues. You are not challenging any demon. You are not asking God to give you anything. No tea, no bread, no anointing, no ministry. You are praying for your edification. That your spirit man be built. Enlarge your capacity in the spirit. Enlarge your vision in the spirit. Enlarge discernment in the spirit. Shanabash, rakata barakata de bragatelech. Sham prato zekete la karatas kaparu zeketa. Emprous kemarato shelekato zebret. Shekete gede gede bush kemarato kaparu zesia bakata. Empro na sadash kala bros gede bahashale mabus. Rapa 
Pray believers Pray and rise into untold dimensions Come up here Access to light Come up here Access to true power Come up here Access to untold dimensions Of the workings of the spirit The spirit of grace and supplication. Makata barandas kabarekos. The body, the flesh may be weak, but I tell you, the spirit is willing, willing to go to a higher dimension, willing to go to a higher face, willing to come up to a level where you will see the things that must happen. Pray young and old. Satarikete barakatos kalabrandegata. Be a man of God. You don't have to be a woman of God. You don't have to be a deacon. You just need to be one hungry and passionate for another dimension higher than that which you have seen. Nelena sana makaratos. Nelebaruze zenekali adabarash. Don't be tired. For my spirit man, on behalf of the generation committed to me, on behalf of the the mistreated to me, lekatarikatosabrekatosha negata. Salamanakata, Salamanakata, Parakato Sazem, Emprakatata Kate Balakatos, Sebros Kamahashanish, Emprakatekatekatekatekatekate, Shaprokoto Parakato Sedegesia. Do not be drunk with wine wearing his excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Adabarandas kabarato shalakata pranagata Kratos kele baruta segete bash He speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray Men ought always to pray The, the cure for spiritual laxity is prayer The cure for spiritual limitation is prayer The cure for timidity and weakness is prayer cure for weakness in ministry is prayer. The cure for spiritual weakness is prayer. The cure for aberrated dreams and visions, prayer. The cure for stale revelations, prayer. The cure for the absence of power, prayer. The cure for newness without freshness, prayer. Shalabarakata, makata braskata barakate, shakata shakata shaseta, ambrata bar. 
worshippers don't receive songs because they don't pray many worshippers write songs they wax album but they don't pray one of the proof of a healthy prayer life is the reception of spiritual songs let me tell you you don't have to be a musician there is a dimension of prayer that you get to you must receive melodies in the spirit you must you may forget it after the prayer but you will need it as a ladder to keep climbing i tell you why many there are stale songs in the church because many of them are composed composed by an appetite to generate revenue there are people who used to sleep with guitars and keyboards and they will lie down and play for hours 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 that's how to be a worshiper that's how to bring songs from heaven i tell you why many preachers are not fresh they quickly open their bible and browse on youtube and browse on the internet you prepare your sermon not by studying prayer creates the coordination on what to study if you sit down with a notebook and you just feel i know what to say oh i'm teaching about this no you carry your notebook you carry this when i go to bed my bible follows me my books i'm on one side my bible is there my laptop is there my phone is there everything that helps my spiritual life lies down the bed with me you don't prepare a message by going on youtube you prepare a message by going to the secret place you pray and pray and you get to a point where your spirit man begins to zoom around a central thought that the spirit is speaking you see that and that's how series upon series will come out if you if you do ministry and preach just by looking for sermons per week you will not last one month you will not have anything to say again before the time of prayer you may not even know what to share in a conference what to share in this boy you just pray prayer is powerful prayer is powerful prayer is powerful we are going to pray just two minutes this is a request now you are going to say lord the grace and the stamina in the place of prayer Baptize me afresh with it. Don't say I'm a woman. No. Don't say I'm a man. Don't say I'm elderly. Don't say I'm a child. Don't say I'm a career person. Baptize me, oh God. The grace for prayer. The interest for prayer. unbeatable advantage of a life that can be edified through prayer there is no limit for a man that can pray prayer is not everything but as far as the dimension of a man's rising to access new lens in the spirit no you must pray the grace to pray. I 
as a preacher the grace to pray as a businessman the grace to pray hallelujah let me tell you this listen listen prayer is an amplifier of every virtue you have anything is amplified in prayer revelation plus prayer is higher revelation speed plus prayer is greater speed wisdom plus prayer is superior wisdom strength plus prayer is greater strength prayer amplifies everything don't stop at spiritual potentials they are there but fan them to flames the prophetic is there it will remain as a potential until prayer crushes everything and brings the wine out of it one of the ways you make your calling and your election choice by prayer pray parents teach your children to pray don't just teach your children to study teach them to pray little wonder the number one thing being fought in schools is prayer not yet study prayer let no day pass without you praying there is no reason for it don't do it as a ritual but please do it no matter how busy you are once it's six o'clock or seven or eight or nine your mind tells you breakfast once it's 12 or one or two or three your mind says lunch once it's six or seven or eight your mind says dinner indoctrinate your spirit man to be that sensitive the moment is morning you know it's like a register you need to sign listen let me tell you when we started out we never went to bed till we prayed once it was evening seven o'clock eight most believers already knew it was time to pray it didn't matter what even if there was no corporate prayer our phone and social life was in a place of prayer once it's 6 30 7 7 38 you start seeing people one by one you will see a tiny lady with her socks and her rechargeable playing one song she's smuggling herself to one corner to go and pray later you see that girl come out there, there were people who did this non-stop for years they didn't know they were powerful till the day they told them can you share in a little fellowship as soon as they stood their fire you don't do ministry by appointment it was while they prayed and fasted that the holy ghost says separate separate separation comes in the place of prayer it was while they prayed and fasted the holy ghost says separate one week you've not prayed you are all right three days you've not prayed you are all right two days you've not prayed it's okay no problem you know how nigeria is i will, I will pray the other time you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne america as a nation listen a man can wear the inner wares of a woman watch this and be moving on the street and that man returns back and blessings keep following him a very stupid man but good things are happening in his life let me tell you why it's because of the covenant of the fathers there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive 
in Nigeria, you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die. Was it the knife that killed him? Are the doctors so daft? Let me tell you what our forefathers left with us. Ready? This is what they left. They went to mountains, valleys, regions. Listen. And all kinds of ancestry. We can fake it and pretend. Listen. I'm a new creation person. I've read the Pauline epistles. Are you getting what I'm saying? I understand the grace of God and the new creation realities very well. But I know God and I understand his ways. Are you following me now? Please come, two people, very quickly. So that I need to, no, no, sit down, Pastor Fami. I promise you can come. Come, stand here, stand here. Watch this. In my example, this guy is a thief. This guy is a wrong occupant. Watch this. If this is my handkerchief, and Ken comes to quickly steal it, the moment he hears this, my footsteps, what will he do? He will run away. Because he's a what? Thief. But if somebody comes and meets promise and say, promise, give me 10 naira. I will give you this handkerchief. And promise gives him 10 naira. And he gave him the handkerchief. Is there a contract there? Is there a covenant there? If he sees me coming, will he refuse? Because you see, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when Samuel Ajayi Crowder and many other Christians came, they brought the gospel of salvation, not the mysteries of the kingdom. Are you getting me? They brought the gospel and we salute them. But that was not enough. The understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught. So even they themselves died. I traveled to, we were in Gombe. One time, Gombe State, and we're going to Yerima's village to go and greet his family. And on our way there, there was a rock like a cap. And they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there, that that rock used to open physically. There was an invocation that would be made on it, and it would open. And people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war. And this is what they said. The last person to enter, you are the one that is donated to that rock. The last person to come out, you are also donated to the rock. Are we together now? And that rock has been faithful. Has been what? The same way our forefathers had bumper harvest. Even where there was no rain, mysteriously the crops grew. These spirits kept their part of the contract. All of a sudden, some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said, we brought good news and they died in three days. The spirit killed them immediately and said, you are joking, good news of what? And then a few people received it. And then when they received it, they convinced themselves that because they are born again, the territory was now changed. I watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city 
they love them and the children bless the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract seal now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the, of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 Bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse six here god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience deuteronomy when you read i think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that i command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey god nothing happens no it's not about God doing it. It's about the laws in the spirit. They will not change. They didn't start with the Old Testament. Those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully. Especially for those of us who have come. Have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness? in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you the car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happened let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land 
I know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the, in the, in the land. True, true story. Because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it. Gave him a slap. When, listen, when I was in secondary school, we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site. That temporal site used to be a hospital. Are you getting the point? Where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen. I tell you, many students had encounters with strange beings. You are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds. Sounds that can give you a headache for a long time. I remember our school getting ultimate power so that we watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this, this nonsense. Many students were initiated into occultism because of that. But tonight, we come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the army. That this situation in your life must end. I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy, mommy, sisters and brothers, there is need to deal with certain things in our lives. I saw poverty in my family as if we offended God. Coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background. Your name can be Solomon, you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed be addressed that's why i told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose. Loose? He didn't say thou art healed. He said thou art loose. The moment the spirit left, he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body. And there she went. Remember that madman at gathering? That was an evangelist in a cave. Tearing himself into pieces. The moment the spirits heard that Jesus was coming, they were waiting for him at the other side. Hallelujah. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. I'll never forget one time I was praying. Praying seriously I was in the spirit. And I had a vision. I saw that there is a tree that is close to where I stay. And I didn't see that tree again. I just saw a great beast like, like, a, like a being. The tail was a snake. The eyes were big like human head. Imagine this head now like an eye. Two of them. One here, one here. And the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger. And all he told me is, so you think you can bring God's people into prosperity. And then it left. That was it. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. That's the reason why every time Satan wants to destroy you, the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person. So your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me. And Satan will say, Amen. Let's go. And then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say, help me. Tonight we are going to cry to the King of Kings. I don't know if you came for this miracle service, especially for those who are family people here. You should never go back the same. You see the results of people, 4.8, 5 points. They have always had that ability, even when they were getting one point. It's a spirit that makes that happen. Don't let anyone fool you. You are not so daft. Human beings were created intelligent. When you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero 
and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me Rescue the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet and we sing it one more time. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. 
your love that rescued the earth is in me. Is in me. Listen, deliverance, therefore, is a separation, is the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences the spirits that attempt to influence your life the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation Lord I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power. That conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft, any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, same. your love. hallelujah lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying Mandalatata challenge the spirit challenge the spirit Behind failures, challenge the spirit. Behind marital delays, challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. 
Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to affect the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Bere it must change, it must change, it must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot leave? Maka kapata. Shelleke tariata baba. Lift your hands to the heavens. 
Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. It's for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire. Some of you visions, your eyes will be open in the spirit. You will see covens catching fire. Mata Labata. Father, you told me tonight is a night of deliverance. There are families under bondage. There are businesses under bondage. Enough is enough. Let your fire bring deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, may heaven invade this place. One, two, three. Second, second, I command governments. I command altars. I command spirits. Kaporotoshe. Bring them out. Fire! 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 Bring deliverance tonight! Shaka baba baba baba, embrotos tete, shake tete tete tete, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. We are going to shout it again. Please don't do it here. I see many people vomiting poison, physical poison. As you shout, physically it will come out. Lift your voice. Bata bata. Shaka ta ta ta. Mare tende tepa. Father, anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now, as you shout, Jesus, we are victim. One, two, three. It must let you go. It must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the Lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you, to sleep with you right now. Lord, where are they? Let that fire, let that fire bring deliverance right now, right now, right now, right now. Every spirit husband, every manifestation 
every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now he must leave you now hallelujah the Lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out I don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am a, a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers every witchcraft that attempts to connect me no i'm in christ i'm in christ i'm in christ i'm in christ Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now Rakatatata. I see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if I don't call anybody's case I'm going to pray for the sick I'm calling miracles cases have happened help me um, Aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies God is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now I'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now 
and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out i'm hearing a name asabe i don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family asabe asabe i'm hearing that name who is asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again no oh. eh this you are please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give aaron let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the lord i am the girl whom the man of god prophesied i have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once i put my hand i i always notice blood coming out but now i felt something drop out of my nose that devil leaves you forever in the name of jesus christ free give jesus praise god is doing miracles here all kinds of miracles are happening in this place please the next people let's have them come very quickly just turn and let's testify don't look at me look at the crowd praise the lord hallelujah i i have this bonus while we are sensation. talking there is a lady who will come sensation. strongly under the anointing outside please pick that lady and bring her hallelujah. as we are talking the power of god is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma'am hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it starts it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now it's gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down Praise the yes Lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest 
Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest, but now I feel very... Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Is there any pain? Is there any pain? Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Praise God. While he was preaching, I was having peptic ulcer. So peptic ulcer. Out, but while we started praying, it left me. And There's I'm one more outside. Go and carry her. She's it left me immediately now i'm not feeling it again. no pain again give jesus praise yes ma'am praise, praise the lord i used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002 but um when i went to see the doctor they said it was pneumonia it's, sometimes i can't breathe pneumonia the pastor said that she sh we should shout jesus i can't breathe i can't shout too much but the moment i shout jesus i fell on the floor everything just left there. you no pain again praise the lord let me pray for you it never returns to you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone with an eye problem i don't know what the eye problem is but it's living right now please confirm yourself eye problem check it check it we are not playing games please check it check it eye problems i'm seeing a miracle happening right now eye problem confirm it and come out right now i'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case at least 10 like the lower abdominal region right here you've been having se severe pain it's like something pulls you there check it right now you find out that you receive a miracle at least 10 people please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of god will come upon you as a witness to that lord where is that lady right now where is that lady identify her oh god by the power of god right now right now right now please bring the lady out god is healing her mother right at home and god is using what is happening as as a point of contact as a point of contact i'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump i'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. help I us sound please can you help us with this mic i used to have this pen down my stomach here but now i'm, I'm not feeling completely pain. gone yes are you sure yes. how long has it been the come Lord. on koinonia let's not get too used to miracles in this place <laughs> hallelujah it never returns to you in the name of jesus christ the next person please 
My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My name is like I'm pregnant. It's to come like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relieved and my stomach is In fact, open. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost, it's even beginning to embarrass you. It's not just like a stomach protruding. You are feeling it very hard and stiff. And it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid. Please check it right now. God is giving you a miracle. God is giving you a miracle. God bless you. Bless you quickly. When they say we should shout, praise the Lord. So I now shout. The stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria, but I can't feel it again. Completely gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. It never returns again. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I saw this abdominal pain almost all the time. But it just left me immediately. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So, I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, comes, sir. comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika concerning pain. In pain joint. you went to the hospital yeah what did they say is wrong with you they, did, they couldn't see the anything they couldn't see anything yeah okay and when you were praying you prophesied that there is a uh, 10 people here that that god is working on yes their system. And, and now what has happened to you the pain is gone. the pain is completely even gone the medical, Jesus praise. even the medical report is in my room the medical report is in your room yeah. you go and check yourself and you find out all of you that were under the anointing when you get up don't just go back to your seat check you will find out that all kinds of things have happened you are not just falling for nothing praise the lord praise the, praise the lord i'm trusting god for a new set of dentition my teeth are just go ahead the power of god is on her Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people and, um, it's okay. Um, there is this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you respond by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice, like the swelling up, and sometimes I very, I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. yeah. And I now, feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay, Completely gone. Okay. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the spirit of fear, as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free in the name. The of spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from 
child, when, when, I was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced, I I've saw been that shaking, a I've been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm not No pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress, Mama. If she's, if she's out because she's sick, Mama, as soon as I make her do please, you people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her, please. The Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that when a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Yes. Do, you, do you have an elder brother? Yes. What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter? Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school. Though. It's your brother. Yes. Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia that the Lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe. Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyon? Titi Lyon. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lyon. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lyon. I'm hearing the name Titi Lyon. Titi Layo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir, it won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is no word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long write it down you will come back and testify before them it's not a disadvantage it's something that will bless you in no small way because you have come with your heart open in the name of the lord jesus christ father i lay my hands i pray right now that you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the lord jesus christ i hear breakthrough for you sir this is what i hear the lord is saying i should announce breakthrough to you father i hold his hands and i announce breakthrough in jesus name Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show Mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You? I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. 
Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her, is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes, this thing. Is that yes, true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then, don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. The power and love our God is an awesome God. Our God. Please clear the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do might, you do glory, you do glory, you're a awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Your dad. Welcome, sir. Once more. Straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen because it's been long I saw him. He doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with mama. None of his children look at him except me. The same problem that mama is having, like faithful. It's just similar thing. We are eight. 
Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ and there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this, that as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God, awesome is your name. You do my God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're oh God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a Awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe? Listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How would you like to have a child? That do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus.
out of her right now. Let her go. Out. Out of her. Out. Out. Release her right now. Let's hear what this madam is saying. Sorry, who brought her? I say, I, I go village now. I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your talk now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. Yes, this is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In their hem, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. This is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a whirlwind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you will be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go. Or codeine. Altar. Once I make the altar call. Just run and come and kneel down here. Because tonight is your night of salvation. Please, don't play games with your destiny. Anything you smoke, anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency. The moment there's time for altar call, please make your way here. We love you. But then the Lord wants to touch you. Let's hurry up because our time is gone. Your name is here. Out.
out.
Request right now. At the same time, an altar call is co as an altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad. We're a family, and any other person. There are those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of the way my life is. I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you. Seriously and completely. From this night, take over my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Let your life come upon me. I break free from habits, from sins, and everything that destroys my life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am saved in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus. I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking, you will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday, unfailingly, please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department. 
and um, they'll fire you up. You'll be with them for at least a month. They will guide you. The gentleman is waving his hand. Salute them, everybody. Congratulate them. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute. Please, everybody, rise. We're rounding up. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request. Your request is here. Begin to speak. Prophesy. Prophesy over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy over it. Prophesy over it. Lord, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Lord, do miracles. Every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here, we judge that spirit. Every spirit, every covenant, every influence. Makata lato desetebe. Mande brendo so so prida balada basca pratica de bene de bosch. Prato so pratica de bene de bosch. Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, yeah. responsible for any setback. In the name of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. Lord, let your people have testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that every request, every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you will stand to testify before the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Now lift your hands and receive the prophecy. I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of Jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion I arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of Jesus Christ for those who are students I pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may you record five points in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing i declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whoever needs to help you before next miracle service, I call them forth into your life. Mysterious helpers. Mysterious helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Fresh grace for prayer. Fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of God I kill it right now in the name of Jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick Go and open doors for the oppressed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle marriages. We release those marriages right now. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs. We release those jobs right now. Please believe me as I pray. We release those jobs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death 
that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 i declare may the mantle of honor come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence i cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of God there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.